Here are 5 things to do before the side or the DLC does come out for Splatoon 3. But before I get into that, if you are new to the channel, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button for more side or the content. If you do enjoy the video, make sure you are hitting that thumbs up button as well. So pretty much the first thing is obviously buy the expansion pass because if you do buy it beforehand then yeah, pretty much overnight for people in the UK, it might already sort of download for you and it might be waiting for you when you do wake up. So definitely make sure you have bought the expansion pass before it does go live on the 22nd of February. So yeah, the next few things I feel like are more important than the first sort of small thing at the start there. It is related to spoilers and I'm going to talk about how to avoid spoilers when the side or the DLC does come out. So pretty much what you can do in the game right now is walk through Splatsville and you can see player posts but my advice for you is to turn that off by following the steps that you will be seeing in the video because I'm sure there will be someone that will get to the end and then will post a spoiler and then it will get shown to you even if you don't want to see that spoiler. So yeah, my advice is to turn that off straight away. Another thing to do is obviously when the DLC does come out, stay off social media, stay off YouTube. But if you have to go on X then yeah, there is a function where you can mute side order. So pretty much if you click on your sort of circle logo if you go to settings if you go to settings and privacy and then you go down all the way to block and mute or something like that that is what it does say on x then you can put inside order but again that might not stop spoilers coming into your feed especially if it is automatically on the for you sort of section someone could easily post a spoiler and yeah because it doesn't contain the words side order then it could still appear for you so yeah definitely would suggest for you to stay off social media but if you have to go on it before you do complete the single player dlc then definitely mute the words side order mute anything related to that like glenn fiddler marina lil judd hopefully that will sort of help you out a little bit and yeah, definitely would suggest for you to stay off youtube because even if you like subscribe to someone like myself who will not be posting any spoilers it might pop up in the recommendations to the side and definitely don't look in the comments as well in any sort of splatoon videos because someone will inevitably spoil it the next thing is if you are bothered about completing the catalog then i'll definitely suggest for you to do as much of the catalog as possible because obviously at the end of the month you will be busy playing the side order dlc and we will be getting a new catalogue on the 1st of March. We will be getting the Splatfest soon, so that will help you out a little bit. But yeah, if you are bothered about completing the catalogue, then bear that in mind. If you do have a copy of Splatoon 2, it might be worth you going back and changing the appearance of Agent 4 and Agent A, because there might be a similar sort of function like what we had in the single player for the third game, where pretty much it will take the appearance of Agent 3 from the Octo Expansion DLC and put it in that single player. The same sort of thing could happen this time around with Agent 4, but also with Agent 8 as well. Agent 8 probably is a definite, you probably will be able to take your appearance of Agent 8 and keep it the same for the side order DLC. The final thing that I want to mention in this video is a little bit of a sort of small thing you don't have to do this but yeah the side order dlc it is going to be a rogue like so if you do own anything like a hades or a Returnal, it might be worth either picking that up if you don't own those games or revisiting rogue likes to sort of familiarize yourself with the mechanics that they do have because Obviously roguelikes are completely different to what we have seen so far in this series. The side order DLC will play a lot different to what we have before. So yeah, in terms of the actual in-game itself, I have gone back to like the Octo Expansion DLC. I have played the inner Agent 3 fight once again. I've played the Octo Expansion DLC. I've played After Alternate as well. I have used Jewelers in the multiplayer as well. 
to familiarize myself with that and you can use the Splatanas as well because they will be used in the side order DLC. I feel like the closest thing to the side order DLC though, in terms of the gameplay, in terms of the hordes of enemies coming towards you, I feel like will be Salmon Run. So yeah, we'll be playing Salmon Run before the DLC does come out. Hopefully this video does help you out.